Yo, what's up? That's for Mika as well. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to study better. Okay, first thing you all know, high quality work produced, alright, is a function of the time spent times the intensity of work, alright? So, how well we work is how often we work and how deeply we work. However, okay, the time spent is limited, right? There's only a fixed amount of time in the day. So what we want to be focusing on is how to work very deeply, how intense we work, all right? Because that's how we get like the highest ceiling and that's how we become the best at studying or working or whatever. Okay, so here's something really important that we have to figure out first. Your grades are a consequence or a byproduct of how well you work, okay? Um, so the grades are not what we're chasing here. What we're chasing is a system that produces those amazing grades. Uh, there are several tenets of a very good study routine or, or system, right? There's the planning, there's the reflection, there's the actual techniques that you use while you study. Um, but the most important things are, right, are consistency and focus. As a side note, I've also found that by focusing on how well we focus, right, as a consequence, you also extrapolate that to your daily life and become much more aware and intentional with how we spend our time outside studying, which is a really important quality for just your quality of life in general. All right, sorry for, for me ending so much. Uh, the unsexy truth to this is that we just have to put in the right inputs to produce the right output, which is, you know, focus. Unsexy, right? We need to be eating well, sleeping well, <laughs> and just exercising regularly, right? Right, the next thing we need to be focusing on is our environment. Um, not necessarily the gear that we're using. As long as you're meeting like the minimum requirements, really, you're okay. <laughs> what we need to be focusing on is what's around us whilst we study. So like, if we're trying to write our final paper at a nightclub with like techno music in the background, obviously that's gonna limit how deep we can focus, right? Our environment needs to be congruent with our goals here. So if your phone is sitting there within reaching distance, uh, of course we're going to reach for it, right? Generally they don't help us be productive, but we reach for them when we get bored or something notifies us. Uh, we want to be removing these distractions from our workplace um, just in general. Uh, so just put it somewhere else <laughs> while you work on Do Not Disturb mode, hopefully. But okay, once your environment is clear and you're putting in the right inputs as far as diet, sleep, and exercise, we need to be focusing on how to improve our skill of focusing. Um, and we would do that the same way we improve any other skill. Um, I'd highly recommend tracking how often and how well you study. Um, I personally just have like a little notebook right here that I log in and on Fridays I will reflect on how well I did that week and understand what went well and what didn't go well and improve it for the next week. Right, and I'd also recommend that as you're improving your ability to focus, uh, keep that amount of time that you're working for consistent. So maybe start off with like an hour a day and during that hour, try to work on becoming as deep as possible. And as you reach that ability to become deep for that long, that's when we start extending how long we go deep for, right? I've personally found that when I reach my deepest states, it's always either in silence or with like really on distracting music in the background. So like lo-fi and like the quietest setting possible and, and stuff like that, classical music. Um, like if you're listening to Eurobeat or something in the background, of course it'll cap your ceiling of how well we can study. I also want to talk about the consistency to which we study, which is also really important, right? Because if we're not studying deeply and we're only getting it like once a month or something, uh, it's not going to really matter because, you know, it doesn't produce results over a period of time. Uh, and we want to be doing this consistency. Uh, I would highly recommend focusing on studying at the same time every day or at least consistency. Like sticking to a routine is on your, like this right, right on a piece of paper when I'm going to study and for how long. And if we do this, right, if we add this regularity, our body and our mind will know, that, okay, it's time to study, let's let's focus up. Um, and there won't be any questions about whether or not we're going to do it, and we're going to go ahead and procrastinate less, because we're actually just going to go and study without really any inner debate about whether or not we should be doing it. We need to reduce the amount of friction to which we can study um, as much as possible, right? The, the easier it is to do something, the more likely we are to do it. So, if you're like trying to study 
in, the, in a coffee shop every day, there's a 15 minute drive you have to do first and it's a lot less likely that you will do it. So I highly recommend just streamlining the process as much as possible. Right, on the flip side, I'd also recommend making the tasks that distract you as difficult as possible. So just inversing that. Um, so if your phone is there, just put it in the other room. Uh, you know, if your parents keep on annoying you, lock the door or something and put a sign up. We need to be making sure that the distractions uh, just come in as little as possible. Makes sense, right? <clears throat> okay, next. I highly recommend creating some sort of street counter or just some way to see how often you do it, like a habit tracker. Um, this is a really effective tool. Just think about like Snapchat streaks or a lot of video games will have you check in daily so that you can get a reward. Uh, this kind of gamifies it. The idea is that you just don't break the streak. Um, this is what I did to get a really consistent in Anki personally. There's a heat map add-on that counts your streaking. Uh, so yeah, I would highly recommend just keeping track of the days that we still use. There's apps for this, you can see it on paper. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep a heat map or just like a street counter of some sort. Okay, the last tip is that we need to be making sure that this is a part of our identity now, all right? This is something that we have to embody and become proud of. As soon as we internalize that this is something that we wanna become great at, we are much likelier to do it. Um, so uh, I occasionally play video games, right, with my homies, but I'm not a gamer. And because I don't identify as being a gamer, right, I'm a lot less likely to play, play video games by myself. Okay, we need to be internalizing the fact that I am someone who values productivity, okay? And as someone who values that, of course, our actions will reflect that. It's uh, a habit that is, is a result of uh, who we are inside. Okay, I think I hit most of the stuff that I wanted to hit. These are all like, uh, just kind of unsexy truths about how to become better at something. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, we just have to put in the hard work if we want to become better at stuff. That's just how it works. Um, it wouldn't be fair otherwise, right? Right, uh, I think that's most of the stuff that I wanted to talk about. I probably should have wrote this down because to be honest, I just kind of woke up like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, and I really want to make this video during finals so uh, some of you homies can maybe get some sort of tips about how to do better on them. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll probably make a follow-up to this if I... Well, I will come up with more stuff, so I probably should make a follow-up. Uh, hey, psh, you guys want to see Mika? Right. That's it for today's video though, so, uh, bye.